All right, guys, welcome back. In today's question, uh, we have another 2D moment uh, question, and a man exerts a force of F on the handle of the stationary wheelbarrow at point A. And we know the mass of the wheelbarrow is uh, 85 kilogram, and the center of mass has been shown with G. And we need to find out the force F that the man apply at point A in order to uh, make the net moment about the tire uh, or point B equal to zero. So at the end of this, we need to find the sum of all moments about point B equals to zero. And we're going to call counterclockwise positive. But before that, uh, we're going to start with the free body diagram. Uh, we have the weight applying at point G. And uh, we know the mass is 85 kilogram. And if we multiply that by the acceleration of gravity, uh, we can find the weight, which is m times g. And uh, let's call this our x and y. And let's see what we have for fx and fy. So uh, if we have this force f, this will be our fy and this will be our fx. And we also know that the angle of the force f uh in here is 60 degrees and we have from here to here 20 degrees which means this angle in total is 80 degrees or this angle is 90 minus 80 which is 10 degrees we can go with either of these two angles so let's see what we have uh, before that so we have the moment of fx we have the moment of fy and we have the moment of the weight uh, applying at point g uh, there is a video for finding the moment in 2d using a shortcut i'm going to put the link in the description below and what we're going to do is we're going to use that 2d shortcut to solve this question and uh, let's start with the moment of fx so if we look at the fx we'll see that the moment about point b will be counterclockwise which is positive so we'll have fx times the distance which will be this distance that i'm showing in here which is uh, 650 and since everything is in millimeter we're going to divide it by a thousand uh, to find it in meter then at the end we can get the force in newton and we're going to come back to fx and fy later and have the same thing for fy if we look at the fy we'll see that this time fy is going to make a moment of clockwise so i'm going to show the direction of the moment about point b so this is our fy which means the moment will be in this direction which is clockwise and that's why we consider a negative sign in here and the distance here will be simply distance that i'm showing in here which is 925 plus 200 divided by a thousand uh, again in order to get the force in newton we need to have all the dimensions in meter and the last one is the force and the moment of the weight uh which we know the force is g and let's see if the moment is clockwise or counterclockwise so we have this force that they apply in this direction so the moment about point b will be counterclockwise which means we have a positive moment and simply for the dimension we have uh the 200 millimeter that we have in here and again we're going to divide it by a thousand get it in meter this needs to be zero and that's because the question is asking to have the net moment about the tire contact point b uh, equals zero now let's see what we have for fx and fy so what we have in here for f is that we figure out this angle is 80 degrees so if that's the case we have zero equals to fx simply will be f uh, which is the unknown in this question times uh, fx will be the cosine of 80 and it will be times 650 divided by a thousand we have fy which will be f sine of 80 divided by 925 plus 200 which is 1125 divided by a thousand and our last one we have 85 times 9.81 times the distance which is 0.2 equals 0 and if we do that we'll get the first part 0.1128 f minus 1.1079 f and the last one will be 166.77 equals 0 and from here we can find the f which is uh, what the question is asking and since we have all the units in meter and a newton we're going to get the force in newton at the end so this would be the final answer for this question see you guys next time <laughs>